Um, I was looking forward to hanging out with all the riders. Um, yeah, and mountain bikes in particular, they don't have team trips anymore. And especially coming to a great facility like Highland, it has everything from awesome trails to the bigger jumps, the slope course, even the trails in the trees. Everything here is just exciting to ride and fun. The overall vibe here is you can just do whatever you want and it's just super relaxed and it makes it a great environment. Towards the end of the year, the dirt jumps might be a little bit bumpier than what you're used to, but they're still really fun and a uh, pretty cool line. It flows really good and uh, some cool trickable stuff. Uh, I don't think we have many expectations. I go to a lot of places and everybody asks me what I want to ride and jumps isn't really my thing but there's always something for me because I feel like I'm pretty diverse so I don't know, it's, it's challenging to find different lines at places like this because obviously like everything's pretty well mapped out for you um, you just normally have to go with the flow but um, you know I tend to like to find my own things and that's sort of part of the challenge really I guess. I have a bit of an explore, try to put my own spin on this place. Firstly, I was struck by how beautiful the place was, and you know, obviously, I like being in the trees and the woods and stuff. But because of what I do, and obviously where I live, you know, it's, I don't see the team that often. So it's really cool to come out and hang out with them boys. I think the highlight of the week for me would be probably riding the slope style course, just because it used to be a competition course, and I remember all the obstacles from way back. Like, so it's always cool to revisit like a contest course and do some stuff that you we're thinking about a couple years ago. I don't know, it's just a fun course to ride. not all about bike riding. We also, we have a nice lake house out, out here and we get to really experience New Hampshire. There's a canoe, guys have been fishing, we're having a good cookout. It's just fun to get to go back and actually relax and chill. But yeah, we just hung out and farted around in the canoe and shoot, hanging out at the back of the house was awesome. Mountain biking is what brought us here, but there's a lot of other aspects of our life that click and uh, I think it's cool just to hang out with them regardless of if we're riding or not. 
Yeah, I like coming on trips like this and um, once you start hanging out with the other riders and like getting to know them more, you kind of realize like how funny they are and they have a lot of good traits to them. It's not just riding, it's like actually hanging out with the homies after a while. So that's pretty sick. I've looked up to these guys for quite a while, so it's definitely nice to ride with them and learn from them. That's so insane, dude. Yeah, the downhill trails here are always fun. Uh, there's a lot of different variety, so you can uh, stay on the smooth track and hit some cool jumps, or you can get technical in the trees. And uh, basically, you can uh, choose each run what you want to do, and uh, you can mix it up all day. Really cool to like get some hot laps in on some really tech tracks. Riding down with Greg was awesome, you know, like we're just overtaking each other. It's just like real good fun, busting out some corners and trying to keep up with him on a full downhill bike on a trail bike. It was pretty cool. I was a little surprised at Chris's speed just because I had such a heavier bike and it just plowed through everything a lot better. But uh, I remember Chris from back in the day and I've seen edits from him and uh, I knew he was a fast rider so uh, definitely kept me on my A game. <laughs> Definitely good to meet up with the guys and it's sick riding with them because I feed off them a lot and they're more experienced than I am so I can learn a lot from them. 